Mitchcraft 96 here with another video review, this time of DC Universe, um, the, uh, Camo Bath build figure. So, uh, so here you go. So, very cool. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you guys all know, but you buy six figures typically, but this guy, you need to buy six figures, put all the pieces together that come with those figures, and you get a whole new big figure. Uh, this, in this case, it's Camo. So, very cool. So, this was, uh, one that I wanted, um, I never thought that I'd end up getting it, but I did want it, and, uh, I just ended up buying it and I uh, just came in the mail so very cool so I don't have anybody else from the series all I have is the build a figure so I'm not going to compare him with the rest of the wave I will compare him to other build a figures though but anyway so he's very nice one of the biggest build a figures that I own if not the biggest um it is certainly the tallest I know that for a fact it's the tallest build a figure that I own and it's still very bulky too so it might be just the plain biggest figure that I own as far as build a figures um that said though he is is very massive but he is he does have some hollow parts you can actually see the hollow parts there's some joints that you can see in here the middle has a secondary piece that is uh, sculpted in there for the bubble effect really liking that um, they, they molded in some bubbles on uh, uh, on the outer a shell, I guess you can say. Then they made an inner shell with more bubbles in it to make it look like layering bubbles. Really like that. Um, unfortunately, they just did that in the chest. They didn't go around and do it in the arms or legs, unfortunately. But still, it works there. Um, the, all the, I'm, I'm guessing it's copper. Uh, it looks like copper. All the copper pieces in them, like the uh, gloves and the boots, they're all painted very nice with a uh, kind of dark wash to some spots to add shading, which is great. The silver is painted on beautifully. No splotch at all it's just it looks it looks like actual bolts there's no mist paints on them so that's great the hands are kind of neat they are they're kind of like pointy um both of them are open no fist uh but that's okay um and overall he's a really nice looking build a figure the only thing that i'm going to say is he does if you don't know who camo looks like he does have a scooby-doo kind of look um i don't know am i the only one that thinks that but he does look like a scooby-doo villain unfortunately uh I, you know just he doesn't look like a menacing comic book villain. He looks like Scooby-Doo. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately there is that. Um, but if you do know who Camo is, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, but he does get that kind of cartoonish look to him a little bit. Um, not too much, but he does a little bit. So anyway, articulation, he's got ball hinge shoulders, so it can go out and swivel uh, back and forth. No head articulation. Obviously, I'm not upset about that because of the way his neck is. Um, he does have a waist swivel. I'll get to that more later, though. He does have a bending at the, um, what is it, elbow. And then he does have a swivel hinge, uh, uh, wrist. So that's very nice. And then he does have a... Uh, just a hinge um, on as far as the ankle. Usually with the build of figures I have a hinge and then it also goes out. This time it's just a hinge like that, unfortunately. Uh, he does have a knee, um, just just hinge, just knee hinge. And then kind of like a ball jointed um, uh, ankle because it does go forward and back and then it also does tilt a bit. So overall he's got decent articulation but because of his mass and the lacking in articulation that other baths have, you know, he is very limited. My, bis my biggest complaint about him, this may be just mine, it could be everybody's, it could be a flaw, but it's just mine so far that I know of. When you turn the waist, it, it the waist pops off. It, it ends up like this. Now what you can do... Um, it does co go in just easy like that, and even when you tip it over, it won't fall or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, it's in it's in there decently, but it it does uh it does have the tendency to break off when you twist it and push down. It it won't pop off; it'll just twist. But overall, he does have that uh, kind of a weak waist joint. Um, luckily, because of gravity, even if when you turn it upside down, it would fall. Because of gravity, it'll stay still stay on. But uh, so yeah, so that's my one complaint. When I first saw that, I was really upset. But then I realized, you know, it's not a big deal. So overall, this is a really nice build of figure. Um, well, the whole kind of tubes, I wish that they were kind of a little bit more symmetric and not just like all over the place, but still they look nice. They're, they're harder, they're soft rubber plastic, but they're a harder of the soft rubber plastic than you see in some toys. And, um, overall, really love it. Love the goggles and mouthpiece, although they do make him look a bit of, um, Scooby-Doo-ish, as I've said before. Uh, he doesn't have much of expression, it's just, duh, you know, that's what it looks like. I've heard, I don't know much about Camo, but I have heard that he's not the brightest villain, so he he does look like that look like that so there you go it's very true to the comics I guess you can say um some other ability figures that I have um 
really quick just showing you this is an incomplete uh, Arkillo, but he still you can still see how tall he is. So as you can see, Camo is much taller than him and much uh, bulkier than him. And let me just pull down some of my other build figures. Uh, here we go. This is one of my tallest build figures, Steel. Steel is uh, I think the tallest build figure I have, and Camo is much taller than him. So Camo is the tallest build figure that I have. But I'm talking about from the rest of my build figures, he's the tallest. And as you can see, he's about inch, half an inch uh, shorter than him. So as you can see, Camo is a very massive build figure. He's really big, which makes him kind of rare and uh, more sought after. So he is one of the more expensive build figures. Um, if you buy him on eBay, I paid fifty five dollars for him. I think it's worth it. It's very nice. Uh, there's not much posing. It's really just going to be him standing. So if you don't like him standing, don't buy him. But if you if you like it, if you just like him standing, you want him on your shelf, definitely go for it. Um, if you, if you don't want to build the wave, if you don't want to buy all the figures and you just want to build the build figure, uh, go on eBay. I recommend paying fifty bucks. Um, for some reason, there's just some a uh, crazy event that um, I saw. Just somebody listed him in pieces, but all he had all the pieces for forty dollars free shipping. Uh, I was so upset. I bought it after. I bought the $55 one, and then like three days later, I saw this listing. It sold within like an hour. I don't know, maybe the guy just needs some fast cash. Really cheap. Really wish that I had just waited for that, because I could have bought it if I wanted it, because I saw it before it ended. So, very um, disappointed in that, I guess you can say. But just try to wait. Maybe there's another person that puts it out for $40 just real fast, because he's certainly worth $40. Um, and certainly worth $50. And $55, he's, hey, he's still good. So, there you go. So, that's my... um. Uh, Build-A-Figure review of DC uh, Universe Camo. Thanks for watching.